Okay. Hi, everybody, okay. and welcome to our March meeting. I'm um, looking up my agenda. Um, our first item of business is approving the minutes from February 7th. So I'll share my screen. Everyone can see the minutes. Yeah, it was a great, great, uh, yeah, good, uh, a good report, I thought, overall. So yeah. I make a motion that we accept the minutes from the previous meeting. I would second that. All in any favor? Discussion? Well, let's let's see if there's oh, any, anything discussion. that we're we'll discussing first. Okay, you want to call the vote, Mark? All right, all those in favor? Yes, all right. Unanimous. All right. I don't have anything from Hopkins. So we'll move on to old business survey. Anything on the survey committee? Um, is that Mark and me, or is that somebody else? Is that? That's Margaret and. No. and okay. Oh, no. yeah. Okay. So I will update you. Um, all right, let's start with just each of the bullet points then that was on, on the list. The revised document begins with the town official interview summaries. The document includes the town official name, job title, years of service. They do. Okay, so that's up. And the links are up on the website to uh, the YouTube videos. The revised document summarizes the work of Hadley Learns, and Jane suggested that we update the Hadley Learns section with their February and March topics, which I did. Um, then it made me, I, I mean, I did it, but then it made me think that maybe I need to change the um, document to read 2021 slash 2022, because now I'm including, you know, January, February, March of Hadley Learn. So anyway, um, anyway, that was updated. I did that. Um, then it said the revised document. Oh, uh, yeah, but I didn't know how to. Oh, so, right, how to upload it to the web page. Yeah, see Kayla under, oh, under that section. I didn't do it under that section. I did it to our document as a whole. Right. Now that's only a link. Hey, Kayla, can you go back and, and go on Hadley Learns again? Yeah. Click on that. That should be a, yeah, yeah that's that should be a, link. a yeah. link to the Hadley Learns web page. Yes. Right, right, right. Yeah. All right. Um, so anyway, Kayla, uh, that left side of the page, that is uh, actually where I wanted to put our document in that blue and white section there. Okay, well, I would be glad to figure that out with you. Sounds good. Great. Um, then the other thing I yeah, it might be it might be a, a, a an ex an, an additional tab on that in that box for committee re annual report because that's basically what this is, right? Yeah, I didn't see it. I mean, I went down to the create content. Anyway, that's something that is yeah, probably right. It gets into the weeds on it, and Kayla and I right. will have a look at that um let's see the other action item uh jane suggested that we add the age and dementia friendly community initiative to the hadley council on aging section that's done mm -hmm. pat suggested that we add hadley library to the document i did that okay. um and, and it was very brief i mean with the hadley library because I really didn't have a lot of data to put in there. And then the final point is uh, Sarah. So I'll defer to you on that. Yeah, I did that right up the Bill Dwyer thing. And I remember sending a PDF around, but if you didn't get it, I can send it again. I we got it in our email. I know I got it in my email. Okay. Um, uh, I guess I'll have to Alert from Google password required. I didn't do that. I don't know. Did you hear that Google password required? Hey, sorry about that. I don't know how to silence that without muting me entirely. Um, <laughs> all right. So, Sarah, I will look for that again. And uh, although I thought I had something, 
about Bill Dwyer. Um, let me just see. Um, sorry, folks. Um, you know what, Kayla, can you have me share the screen? Yes. Okay, it says I'm the co-host now. So host disabled participant screen sharing. All right, let me go back and try it again. Okay, now I can, uh, all right, here it is. Let me share that. All right, so that is, uh, can everyone see the paragraph aging dementia friendly community? Great. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's what was added there. Good. Um, all right. So that was under the, yeah. So that was that. Um, the Hadley Library. Uh, where did that come in? Hadley's World's Fair, First Nation, Diverse. Oh, yeah. The Goodwin Library, Friends of Hadley. Mm -hmm. Sponsors a number of events for children, tween teens and adult seniors includes teen movies, STEM events, public readings and events for preschoolers. That's all I've put out there, if that's acceptable. Yep. All right. Yeah, I think um, if people want more detail then the library itself could write that up. Good. And then I think we had something on um, Bill. I should have gotten that as a yeah, um, you know what? I'll have to look again. Um, I can resend the, it too. This is the beginning. Uh, there's nothing on that. Hadley Learns. Well, we know that. That's all Hadley Learns. Mm -hmm. Council on Aging, Aging Dementia, Historical Commission, the World's Fair, First Nation. Huh? Okay, um, don't have it. So I'll have to add that. Yeah, okay. I'll resend it. All right, and I'm going to stop my screen sharing unless there's any comments. <laughs> wants about this and good all right all right i'll stop screen sharing then okay great thank you um wayne is there any update for us on the draft questionnaire for reporting and resolving allegations of discriminatory behavior uh yes and if i can get to it i can find the uh final form of the, uh, oh, here it is. Do you want um, to share your screen? I don't know how to do that. Tell me. Um, I'm going to make you a co-host. And then at the bottom of your screen, you should have the option to share. It's in green. All I'm seeing in green is messages, V, VC, is that it? No, you're looking too low on your screen. So you're looking at, so look above that, the bottom of the Zoom screen. Hover your mouse somewhere below oh, your I picture, see. below all our pictures in that blank, otherwise blank space, it will, it will light I up. I see, I see. Stop video, view. Do you have share more. screen? more share screen the there middle, it is it should say participants chat share screen record and reactions share open sure. system precedents preferences no uh, no so wayne it should have presented you with a picture of everything that's open on your computer and you would just go to the document that you have okay. that you want to share with us I'm seeing desktop, whiteboard, iPhone, phone, and I've clicked on desktop, but it still asked me to open system preferences. I wonder if somehow you're not set up to share. I don't know. I Shall I just read this to you? Sure. Sure. That's great. Uh, we went back and forth several times to uh, uh, to get this, so we were sending the same letter and uh, I'm sending this letter to the Board of Health, the school department, superintendent, the DPW, the Board of Assessors, the Conservation Commission, 
Mark is sending to the building department, the housing authority, the planning board, police, town clerk. And this is the letter we came up with. Um, Dear to whom it may concern, I'm reaching out to you and your office, board, committee, department, other, as a member of the Hadley Committee for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. Our committee has tasked me with asking several town departments what systems or processes they have in place for handling grievances re regarding perceived issues of prejudice, bias, or discrimination. Another paragraph. This desire arose from our anticipation that people may go to the town website looking for an avenue to express their grievances and our committee name may lead them to believe that we are the place to do that, period. In such a case, we will inform them that we are not involved with investigating active claims or enforcing corrective measures. However, we would like to assemble a resource directory to help us direct them to the proper municipal point of contact to address their issue. Therefore, we would greatly appreciate it if you could let us know the title, phone number, and email of your organization's point of contact in the unlikely event that a grievance came your way. If you have a process in place to deal with such grievances, we would also appreciate your sharing a brief description of that process with us. Thank you for your assistance and for all you do to make Hadley a great place to live. And we sign it as a member of the Hadley Di Committee for Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion. A great letter. Wayne, nice. um, yeah, I really like the way you guys worded it. Um, so are you looking for just who the point person will be on each of those committees? And if they yes. have something in place to share it? Yes. We, we, we're looking for somebody to let them know that information and, and asking them, to tell us in case somebody comes to us who we should send them to contact, how we can redirect a complaint that comes to us that should go to them. So I'm gonna switch hats here. And I wanna say, if I'm understanding you correctly, as a member of the Board of Health, does that mean that you want the point person, which would be Dr. Mosler? as our chair. And then if we had anything in, in place to address those sort of concerns, we would outline what they are to you and send that to you. Otherwise, it's just a point person. Yeah, it's just a point person. So I'll write that down. Dr. Mosler. Susan Mosler is our chair. Susan, M-O-S-L-E-R. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, good. I'll pass that along because yeah. Well, I'm gonna be writing to you. So I have that, thank you. Okay, well, so I'm wondering if it might not just be easy to, um, I mean, I don't know, this is probably not a good assumption to make, but that the chairs would be the point person, but maybe That's not. That's my assumption. Mm -hmm. But we're writing to the chairs, and if they're not the point person, they will tell us who is the point person. That's the idea. So we're just looking for somebody to write to to get that information so that we can post it on our website or have it in our back pocket if it's needed. I would assume that some committees more than others might feel these kind of concerns. I would think, for example, that the Board of Health wouldn't necessarily, I, I don't know, maybe I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm ignorant about, yeah, I don't really know what I'm talking about. I'm just kind of guessing that some more than others. Well, right. Somebody has a health I, issue and they come to us, we're not gonna resolve it, but we're gonna send them to the person most likely to know what's going on and to be able to refer them to the right person. That's the idea. Understood. So we're not yeah. gonna decide. No, I, no, it makes sense. We're just gonna send it, if it's, a, if it's a health issue or something we think is related to health, then we're gonna advise them to go to the Board of Health. And the person, the contact person is Dr. Mosler. So that's that's the idea. We're letting them know that we don't feel these complaints, but we want to send you to some place that can handle your complaint or your question. Speaking of which, right, I'm sorry, I, I was on a I was on a pharmaceutical drug run for my partner who's I'm taking care of her post-surgery. 
Right. Well, I just uh, they just asked what we where we were with our committee work, and I just read them our letter. Yeah. And um, I does that answer your question, Margaret? I, I think so. It just it, it does feel like um, it's probably going to be the chairperson, uh, and unless otherwise, I mean, if it's a health issue in the town. No, no, I, I understand. I'm just saying for all the committees, it might just be the chair that we can direct well, them to. In the school Unless department, it would be the superintendent. For the mm -hmm. DPW, it would be somebody else. The board of assessors, it's the chair, I assume. So each one of these has a leader, I'm assuming, mm -hmm. or a designated person who is the leader. And that's, that's who we will direct them to. Mark has said the building department is Tom Quinlan, who's the building commissioner. Uh, and we'll find somebody the the police would be the police chief. Um, so we're just making an assumption in each of these cases and writing this letter to that person. And they will correct us if the person we have designated is not the person. Right. For example, your your example of the assessors, the board of assessors are volunteers that aren't there. There is like Dan Zadonic is there during the day. So he's he's a full time employee. So if, so if you sent them to one of the board members, they might have some other job during the day and not be, you know, I think they meet, you know, that's just one, one example where it's not clearly logical well the idea that of this letter is we're going to find out who is the person that somebody right. could complain right. to right. if somebody comes to us and says who do i complain to right. or they raise an issue with us that's not us we can send them back and tell them the person to go right. to right yeah I, I see this as us removing one or two layers of runaround Exactly. So That's if somebody comes point. to us and we don't know what to do, then they go to somebody else and they don't know what to do. And then they go to somebody else and they think mm -hmm. they might know what to do, but they don't really. And if we can wade through that two or three layers of, well, I don't know what to do and find somebody who does, then this, we can at least send them straight to this person who does. That's the point. And we're right. trying to cover all the areas somebody might have a problem with. And if something else should come up, if somebody should come up that doesn't fit in one of those 10 categories, then we'll chase it down and find out who it does appeal to. But this covers most of the town, I think. Yeah. And most of the Kayla, issues. So that's where we are. Yeah. Great. Kayla, you were kind of shaking your head when we mentioned uh, superintendent of schools or one way. No, I think in most um, in most school systems, there is a designated um, DEI contact. For example, where I work, it would not be the superintendent. There's another person who has that role. So, but, but the, the superintendent, superintendent will tell us who. who it is. Yes. Right. That's the idea. Yeah. Right. right. So that we way we send somebody directly to that person rather than through. We're the not assuming that we have we will have all the right people that this letter will go to. Right. But that person, we hope, will respond to us and tell us who is the right person to go to. Yeah. Right. So then we will have that in our records and we can refer somebody with a complaint who comes to us. That's the idea. So this is, as far, this is where we are. I would like to think that part of our role as in this committee is to give people that contact information, but also be willing to stick with them make them feel supported you know i i think i think you're absolutely right and i think we can do that in any case we have that option yeah i just don't think we should guarantee this in this letter i think yeah, what we're I doing agree. in this letter is getting information back to them mm -hmm. about the place they can go yeah. yeah so uh and and post eventually i think we might post this on our website but the likelihood somebody is going to come to us with a complaint we can then send, right. yep. send yeah. and them the more, to somebody we the think of, and then follow up. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And the more of this kind of stuff we do, this kind of groundwork that we do, the better equipped we will feel to be supportive to somebody who has a problem. Exactly. Yep. This okay. is simply the first step. Mm -hmm. okay. And I think Mark Mark was 
really helpful in getting to this point. It's okay. tough to writing the letter and and coming up with who we need to contact. And if you should think of somebody else that we should put on this list, that's fine. We'll do that too. But this is a start. Great Good job. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. The next uh, item of old business was that the um, I was not at our last meeting, but there was a conversation about this idea of a stolen beam series talking about reparations. Right. I think, uh, let's see, Wayne volunteered to identify a group in Hadley to co-sponsor the stolen beam series. There I go again. I will, uh, I, I did not, I did not follow up on that. I apologize. Nothing to report today. Yeah, nothing to report. Okay. okay. Except well, you, that I didn't follow up. So. But you did follow up on this other thing, which was really important. Yes. So. Yep. Good. Yep. <laughs> so would you repeat what it is I'm supposed to follow uh, up it's on? on? It's on the um, minutes to the meeting uh, under new business part A. And it said WA volunteered to identify a group in Hadley to co-sponsor the Stolen Beam series. Stolen Being series. Right, B E A M. Here it is in the in the minutes. It was this conversation about uh, that the library was approached about an available five week program series to to learn about reparations. I would love to be able to print that out and I can't do that from. So I can go back. Uh, where can I go to print I'll, this I'll, out? I'll lead you to it. Okay. okay. Thank you. It's on the uh, it's on the thing that Kayla had sent out. Uh, uh you know, showing the agenda items. And from, Zoom meeting. Okay. Yeah, the February minutes. minutes. Got it. Which I actually printed twice. Okay. Under um, new business, I was wondering if we could take a few minutes. Uh, to see if we had any ideas about how our town might mark Juneteenth. Oh, yeah. And that was something that I looked into last year a little bit, and I have not reviewed my notes, but I have some notes somewhere. Um, the way my summer is shaping up, I'm probably going to be out of town the week leading up to that, and I don't know if I'll be back in time for the event. But that doesn't mean I can't help do some preparatory stuff for that. So it would be Sunday, June 19th, and there's also a public holiday on Monday the 20th. Um, I'm, I'm wondering if there are any ideas about ways to mark it. Yeah, Mark. I've got an idea. Yeah. Um, have any of you seen the I don't know what you call it, a movie documentary called 13th. Yes. Very upsetting, very moving, and very factual. What if we um, sponsored an event where people could simultaneously or you know, at your own time uh, watch that or watch it before and then and then have like a Zoom group discussion afterwards, you know, I don't know, maybe that's too emotional. I don't know. I, I I think it's a great idea. I personally don't feel comfortable leading a discussion on it. I mean, that's not my, my no. sort of area, but. Um, well, maybe we could find we could someone. Find who, someone, yeah. Who I mean, I, I, maybe we can do something, I don't know, Sarah Hadley learns. Yeah. 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 You know? yeah. My recollection, without also going back and looking at the notes I had last year, my recollection is that most Juneteenth celebrations center around family and food because emancipation meant you could stay with your family. Families were no longer being disrupted. 
and that that's really important that you know that's Juneteenth is a time when families gather and have food together so that would be another possibility would be to host some kind of event with food I don't know I think uh, what would be helpful to me as someone who didn't know about this until this year would be to have somebody explain that and the right, history more educational. of that. Right. It was very moving that when I found out why that's celebrated. Yeah, I think it was it was Texas becoming the last state, right? To yeah, you know. that was informed many months later. Yeah. yeah. I do agree that um, that something festive, um, yeah. something that would would draw people together in a festive way, might be a good way to start. I like the positivity of that gathering and food. If we yeah. if that might even offset, you know, or maybe the example I came up with for the educational side is too dark, but I think it's important. So yeah. Um, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe the um, library or just the library, they show films. Maybe they could do something uh, about showing the documentary 13th, like two weeks beforehand or something. Right. Um, yes. And then uh, tie the two together, suggest people watch it on their own and then come to the celebration. Uh, yeah, I mean, or, or I, 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 I don't know how these films are normally shown at the library. Are they, is it just projected onto a, a screen or? There's a screen and a projector in that big room where we did the, um, you know, the high school yeah, event. The high school thing? I think that's probably where a movie would be shown. Do we know how to get this movie to be shown? I think if we could, could find access it online. It online, if we could, do we have to pay for it to be shown? Do we have to pay for access to it, et cetera? Is, is that the best? Um, yeah, yeah, I don't know if that's the best, if that's the most appropriate. It's the most moving I could think of, but, yeah, it, it, yeah. but it's very upsetting too. But I think as a group of white people trying to understand, I think we need to be rocked. <laughs> yeah. My, well, this, my two is, is the point of celebrating it to educate us about it, those of us who don't know about it or didn't know about it until now, and then to acknowledge it publicly? I, or is it just to get us to, to understand it and see the movie? I, when I when I thought to bring this to the agenda, I I was thinking about just an opportunity for our town to acknowledge that this is an important day, and um, maybe something as simple as gathering on the town common and having you know having maybe some students again explain the day. It is available on, I'm sorry, it's available on Netflix. Yeah, and it says you can watch it for free on YouTube and on Netflix. It's unclear yeah. if the film will remain free indefinitely or if this is just a temporary move. Right. Um, but um, that would be great. I mean, if it's on YouTube, that yeah. is free. I think. Yeah. Um, Seems to me the ideal would be to have give people an opportunity to see the full reason for the celebration. And the other part is to come together to publicly acknowledge that day. And something in between might be what somebody else suggested that we have some students come in and explain it and we have a celebration and let people on their own do their own research by seeing it. I, I don't know, but I think there are three possibilities. I don't remember. Does that movie 
reference specifically the Juneteenth? I don't think it does. And then, and I think it's more modern day. It's more about what's happening now. So I was thinking, yeah. what if, you know, another idea to, to maybe evolve my, my suggestion is maybe that, you know, make this event like, like they've done with, uh, with, with um, Hadley, what, what's it called? Hadley Learns, where they, you read a book and then they, they have someone talk about it. So maybe we could give like two or three things to see. One might be, um, you know, if there's any film about, uh, you know, if there's any historical documentary about June, Juneteenth, uh, you know, I was thinking maybe three things. Maybe one would be the you know that one would be something about the was it was it uh, Kansas? Where did they have that the uh, nineteen twenty nine? Um, you know the thing that's not even in our, our our history books. The it was Tulsa. Are you thinking about Tulsa? T Tulsa, Oklahoma. Thank you. Oklahoma. Yes. Right. Yeah. And then maybe. Um, and then maybe 13th, just kind of to show how much or how little we've progressed <laughs> toward this. I don't know, I, I, I guess I'm taking a rather guilty and dark side to, to this instead of maybe I like Sarah's idea of getting together and celebrating food, but I just feel like celebrating food with a bunch of white people doesn't get the point of it, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's such a huge, complicated thing that it's really hard to just pick one little piece of it to to do by itself. Um, can I? Uh, Wayne show? has his hand up. Okay. I just wanted to ask if this is a multi-part thing. Whether we start with acknowledging it, it is a federal holiday. Oh, and they they we, did just make it right. If yeah. we acknowledge that and have some event to just acknowledge it. It may be that optional to acknowledging that is giving background on it and people can follow up as they want. And having some sort of public acknowledgement would be a part of acknowledging it. And we go from there and maybe build on that. But I would say start with something that's pretty straightforward. Just, I didn't know it was a holiday. I didn't know it was a federal holiday just acknowledging the federal holiday in Hadley could be a start to opening the door to understanding why. Right. Instead of trying to do too much at once. That's right. my first right. thought. Yeah. Yeah. And, and for, for, people, for people who've never run across it before, maybe make it as inviting as possible rather than you know here we're going to beat you up with a stick because of what your ancestors did exactly. you know that's a big turn off uh instead exactly. try to find a way to invite people in you know here's an interesting part of our history that you might not know about that you know a celebration that people that's really important to a lot of people i would say <laughs> holiday and then explain why it's a holiday yeah. holiday yeah. celebration come get some food right. and if, then let them know what's meant by that or let them discover what's meant by that on their own if you browse through how this is um, celebrated in communities throughout the country it's festivity yeah. yeah there is a documentary i was googling this as we were talking uh on juneteenth it's a 42 minute documentary that uh, ABC News produced. Uh, and it says, uh, originally aired on ABC News, uh, it examines the ongoing struggle for racial equality for Black America while celebrating the end of slavery. Um, I think we could make that and other things that are informational available to people with an announcement that we're going to celebrate on the common. Yeah. Is there is there something like church bells ringing like at a certain time of day? That's what I was going to say. Isn't there something where where there there is some um, historical ringing iconography? I don't. I don't. That's that's worth looking up. That could be worth come across up. that. But I was just thinking for our town. You know, is it something to get our religious communities involved right. in? 
I see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't know if I was confusing that with July 4th, where there was something about ringing of, there was the actual ringing of bells. Maybe they did that in Amherst or something. I don't remember. I think maybe last year they did that. I think you might be right that they did it mm -hmm. in the common. Mm -hmm. I mean, I kind of like this, I, you know, this brainstorming here that, you know, yeah. if we can get um, some of our religious institutions involved. Um, mm -hmm. um, I would be willing to reach out to as many churches and the mosque. I don't think there's any synagogues in town. Um, yeah. But I'd be willing to reach out as well to um, Jason again um, and just ask those organizations, are they looking at a way of celebrating? Is there anything that they would think that we could come together and do? I, yeah. I think something brief. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and I'd love to know if Hadley Learns. I mean, it seems like Hadley Learns is always so topical right. um, that maybe they have something gelling. I don't know. I could see doing something somewhat similar to like first night in Northampton where there's a menu of, you know, if you want to see 13th, you can go watch it at this church. Uh, if you want to watch the ABC documentary, you can go to that, you know, if you want to see a, something more upbeat or da, 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 and, and then afterwards everyone or before or whatever everyone goes to this gathering and more festival more uplifting positive i don't know mm -hmm. yes wayne may, may i suggest that we make a motion to um sponsor an acknowledgement of June 13th and have two or three of us flesh that out and go over these ideas about how we can do that. June 19th that would, is that. That would take a little June 19th, yeah. whatever that is, and, yeah. and come back with recommendations. Yeah, great. Um, yeah. About something specific. Well, I'll do church and school outreach. And I will look at my notes and scrapbooking from last year, because I know I kind of, something something got me a bee in my bonnet for that. It might've been this committee. Yeah, I, I, I remember I, you brought it to the committee. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And yep. we, I think we felt like we weren't yeah. ready. It was coming right. up pretty quick. It came up really quickly, yeah. And yeah. that's when we, we decided to do the October thing. Yeah. Like the two of you act as a subcommittee and come up with some suggestions how we can take it forward. Yeah, yeah. I was wondering, Sarah, if you might just broach it with the Hadley Learns community and see if there right. are any thoughts that come up. And if, there. if if you want, I could I could reach out to Amy Lanham and see if her group of students has any idea, any suggestions right. for how we might do it. Great, great. Thank you. Um, the last thing is open agenda. And I had one thought that I wanted to put out there on an open agenda. Uh, I don't know about how any of you are feeling, but I'm feeling a need to, for refreshment in this committee. And I wonder if it's time to reach out and, uh, seek additional membership. Town meeting might be a good opportunity to recruit. Mm. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I think we need to expand. Yeah. How would we go about doing that? Hand out flyers as you check in at town meeting. Yeah, flyers at town meeting. I was thinking also, again, through the religious organizations and the library. Would it be <laughs> worth uh, sharing something about this with the reporter from the Gazette? Mm hmm that we are here's here's the work of the committee and we're wondering if someone else wants to join us in this work we have do we have to get permission from the select board about who joins i think they have to apply to the select board right. to join. Right. Right. we can pave the way for that after yeah. people express an interest okay okay uh excuse me for half a second the the dog is uh 
So, but people feel open to including yeah, sure. new membership. Yeah. What is our official membership now? Like, we're, I, for some reason in the back of my head, I was thinking we had eight or nine. We have seven voting members and okay. non voting. Three if we include. So, okay. So you did have a quorum before I came. I'm sorry. Yeah. Good. Just barely. We're glad you came. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the guy getting. He said he wanted a hundred dollars in ones, and he, the teller counted them out, and he asked him to count them again. He said, "I just want to be sure." <laughs> Any other items of new business? Is there is there anything that would speak to us with the the Ukraine issue? Is that more just politics than, than um, I don't I, I don't know that that's I think that's more power, resources and geography than any kind of ethnic. I think that's bigger than us. Yeah. 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 I will say that I I learned that I don't remember where it is. Some place has a, a committee that is called the committee for justice, equity, diversity, and inclusion. And not only the, the nice aspect of including justice, but it gives them the acronym JEDI. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they did it. I think so. So that would make the first Monday, the JEDI night. <laughs> if we wanted to compete, we could have an official theme song in our Official theme song could be Star Wars and we could steal it from them. Yeah. Mm. Da, ta, 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 ta. I'll have my my saber. <laughs> and, Wayne our meetings with that. and Wayne will conduct us. There you go. <laughs> we all have to learn the words though. I don't know if there are words. Hmm. We could all sing it. No. Um Was, it, on our, was that John yeah. Williams or something like that? Yeah. Yes. On our agenda, which I didn't, I didn't catch until now, and uh, nobody else caught. Um, it says that our next meeting is March seventh, so we've already had our next meeting. <laughs> uh, but our next next meeting will be April fourth. Right. And with which that, be... is there anything else to add before we uh, before we? Take a motion to adjourn. Got it. That will be the day after Bela Fleck comes to Northampton. Ooh. If you have an interest in music at all, mm. get tickets to Bela Fleck. Bela Fleck and the Fleck Tones. Exactly. Sweet. Phenomenal musician. Mm. Motion to adjourn, anyone? Yes, I, um, uh, I, I forward Second. a motion to adjourn. Seconded by Second. Wayne. All in favor? Aye. All right. Great.